All right, guys, as you can see, we're back down here along the roadside. I gotta get this stuff cleared out of here and load it in the truck, or at least moved out of the way, so I can get the truck up through here to get at this big one. So, that's what we're gonna do today. Start making an access point to get at this big white oak. So, stick with me, we'll get right to it. So this is the area I wanna get the truck up in to get at this big tree that's behind you. In order to do that, I need to clean up some of this and some of this, maybe most of it, so I can get the truck right up through here to where you are. So that's what we're gonna be working on today. So, heck yeah. I did fix my AccuMark, but I got something different. I've had it for a couple weeks now. We're gonna try it out. So what I got is the Mingo marker. I got the 16 inch wheel in there. If you guys haven't seen this, basically you roll this down the log, it comes up, it has this nice wedge shape here. And when it hits this trigger right here, it'll shoot paint out. Just like that. Marking where I need to cut at 16 inches. So in order to start this, you spin the wheel where the big side of the wedge goes down and touches this trigger right here. I don't know if you can see that. But that's basically your starting point. So let me get some of this raggedy stuff cleaned out of here so I can get at this nice straight piece and we'll start bucking that one that one actually might fill the truck so we'll see how it goes but I still need to get the rest of this stuff out of the way so I can get the truck up in here <laughs> Again, put that wedge until it's against the trigger there, and we're going to send it. Beautiful. Look at those marks. Slightly, uh, slightly easier without holding the saw in your hand. All right, guys, I want to apologize. I pulled the wrong part of the cord for the mic because the mic makes the sound a little distorted when I cut with the 500i with the bark box on it. So you're not going to hear anything here until after I roll this log over. So I'm just going to add some sweet music in here.
All right, sorry about that. I uh, unplugged the wrong mic cord and you guys didn't hear a thing I was saying. <laughs> You guys don't need to see me do that again. I'll come back when I have everything moved. There we go. Let me go get the truck. Definitely be able to get up here and get this big thing for sure. Just one step closer. I think I'll be able to cut up the rest of that tree over there. I'm gonna go mark this thing. I don't know if I'll get all the way to the end there, but everything's off the ground. We'll see if the stump wants to go back up. We might be able to get that last piece. If not, it's gonna stay. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
I think I'll leave that. If somebody wants it, they can have it. I don't want to dull my chain right now. Just finish off these three and we'll call that a load and then go back to the house. There we go. Time to go home. Another load for the week. So if I could get one of these a week for the next couple weeks, that'd be awesome. I'm that much closer. I can actually get the truck right up to the top of this thing. So I think I decided to work from the top down to the bottom and see see how it goes from there. I think it'll be a little safer doing it that way. Uh, I can read what the tree wants to do as I'm going up the tree. And thanks to all the excellent comments and the excellent advice that I got from the previous video of my concerns with this, with that big root ball up there. So with that said, I gotta load up my gear and head down the road. I'll see you back at the house. All right, guys, as you can see, we made it back. I actually rearranged the pile so I could have room to fit this in here. I know in the last video I said I was gonna cut into this stuff, but that stuff down the roadside is too tempting to go get, and I had to get it. So muddy. I think we got another inch and a half of rain last night. But we didn't get snow like a lot of you guys did. So, all right, time to take care of the biggins. I almost died, but I didn't, which is good, I guess. Uh, I think that's the biggest one. So you know what that means. They're only gonna be lighter after that one. Guess I'll start another row. That's it. That's the load. Ha. All right guys, well there you have it. Another successful roadside logging and that much closer to getting towards that big sucker. Can't wait, kinda. Hopefully I get down there before it gets too warm. So far the plan is working the way I want it to. Got an access point and we just gotta work from there. So it actually looks like I didn't split anything from the last time. I think I got pretty much just as much wood here now as I did before. Because I got a load from my buddies, plus what I didn't get split from the last time I was down, and now this awesome load of white oak. Very cool, very excited, but I do need to start getting into these piles, these two piles that I brought home. So before I do another roadside logging, I gotta get cutting into this stuff and get it split and get it out of the way because I'm gonna need the room to bring that big sucker in here. 
All right, guys, that's all I have for today. So if you like this type of stuff, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Leave a comment down below. Tell one of your friends. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Woo! Ah, well-deserved beer. See ya.